For the third time in as many weeks, the Rebels face a top 25 opponent. This week, they visit the plains of Auburn to face the defending national champions, the 23rd ranked Auburn Tigers. You know what I see on film? Uh, every team is good. I'm, I'm more concerned about our guys and playing at a very high level for 60 minutes, not just 30 or 40, uh, but every single play, every single series. Uh, Auburn, uh, again, uh, losing so many players wasn't expected to do, but you know they go to South Carolina and win. They beat Florida. So the one thing that Auburn has inside of, they, they won a lot of games coming up there to the, the defending national champions. And uh, you can tell that's what kind of have carried them in the games that were close. They were behind Utah State, win the game at the end. Uh, they've had close games and uh, they, they finish them. So I don't know their mindset. I'm not you know, really worried about that. I'm more, more about our guys. All right, in Clemson, so the guys know Z's on the ball, Y's on the ball. The H guys, that's all for Lander, Neat, all the guys that motion guys, be alert. All it is the speed sweep. We're on the ball, we're unbalanced. Gonna do the same thing to the right, to the left, sucker, and then we'll run quarterback six week. All you gotta do is just block the play on your side. We gotta have uh, separation here. Make sure we got the out on the backside. X is, if you're in the boundary, I need you inside the numbers, okay? He cannot get the ball out that fast. You gotta give him some room and don't be afraid to get your depth. Everybody did a great job yesterday. We'll watch it when we come back in all practice. Nice job on your speed cuts because you're getting more than 12 and coming back downhill to your distance. Everybody instead of just cutting it right there at that distance. Okay, swing right when we're swinging. Make sure that we get started here and get around him. Tobias, don't get too deep on this, on that one. We want the ball caught down here. Your shoulders, shoulders were good downhill, but don't catch it so far back here. It takes you too long to get to the line of scrimmage. When y'all round this thing, make sure you start downhill and wide. If you'll watch that tape, you'll see uh, Joe Adams and a couple of those other guys, Clemson and Arkansas that run the bubbles. You'll see those guys, Utah State, they really get to the boundary, make a lot of, lot of change over here. They make some room. The season Old Miss football is brought to you in part by FedEx. We understand you need a winning game plan. FedEx, proud sponsor of Old Miss football. By the Mississippi Department of Transportation, making Mississippi proud. By Regions Bank where you get more financial control. Proud sponsor of the Rebels and official bank of the SEC. And by TEC, providing you broadband voice and data solutions. Visit TEC.com to find out more. Hi. You know, if we held that FedEx office printer presentation, they could have shipped it too. It saved ourselves a hassle. I'm not too sure about this. this. Right, never kick off with sales figures. Kicking off with sales figures. I'm yawning. I'm yawning some more. And... What's the airport? We understand. You need a partner who delivers convenience. Next time, use FedEx Office. If you're considering a loan to help you take more financial control, Regents has options for you. Our experts will help you with advice and guidance to find not just a loan, but the right loan. And we'll do it on your timeline. Most decisions only take 30 minutes. It takes effort to achieve financial control, but our bankers are here to help you gain the stability you want with the award-winning service you expect. Ready? Come see us. Now that's control. Please hold. Transferring call. To where, Kuala Lumpur? Can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. It's video. <laughs> screaming. <sighs> Hello, you're having audio problems? A actually, my video stalls. Oh, and then yes, reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No, wait. Ah! Oh my gosh, sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break. You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi.
as the rebels begin preparing for the Auburn Tigers. They are focused on correcting their mistakes and getting back to their winning ways. Road victories in the Southeastern Conference are hard to come by, and the Rebels are focused on executing their game plan to perfection. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, find the rock, find the rock! Good. Flat! Good, stick it on him, nice, nice, nice. Hey, Tobias, when you're in the boundary, make sure the short, hey, listen, make sure the shorter throw, that's a great area to be in. You just feel yourself off that guy and then it's kind of like scissors for you there and then bam, get in that open hole over there. Hey, if you get, man, he's looking dead at you in this stance right here, take it and start out first because on, on option, where's the ball being pitched? Yeah, so go ahead and take him outside and if he doesn't go with you, then just pin him. He pitches the ball and the ball's going to the corner. Jeff Scott's gonna run to that pylon, you with me? Over the past few weeks, Redshirt freshman Brian Bennett has worked his way into the starting lineup on the Rebel defensive line. With two SEC starts under his belt, his teammates and coaches don't consider him a freshman any longer. Coming into, I hear a lot of a lot of players tell me, you know, the season's rough, has its ups and downs, it's fun. Um, it's SEC football, so you got to be ready. Got to weigh a certain amount. Got to be strong in this. Got to be able to bench this, squat this, think about this. Uh, it's very fast. I was trying to catch the speed and see how my role would fit into it and how many plays I think I could make and things like that. It's definitely physical and a lot of fun once you get the hang of it and get the sway of certain things. It's up and down. It's hard for me to get consistent on how I feel about the season right now. We're having good days, bad days, good games, bad games. We show a lot of promise on certain series and we just flat out suck on certain series. It's just execution and playing together as a team and tackling. Oh, I think we just keep playing and try to find a lot of fun and compete. I think we just gotta continue to compete and, and that is like the big part of it. Just stay focused and competing, just punishing the offense, make it as hard as possible to do anything and stay focused. As the Rebels arrive in Alabama, it's all business as usual. The question is, how will you be remembered? We got three or four seniors still left in this group. We talk about the character. You don't never know when your last snap's gonna be, what it's like. I know tomorrow can be the start of a great part of your career here at the Ole Miss Rebel. I know Vincent Moss, a guy that walked on that nobody really gave a chance, made a play in the spring, I blur. He flashed across the screen, and every time something happens on special teams, he said, come on, Moss. You got Justin Smith as a senior, you got Damian Jackson as a senior. I think that's it out of your class. How you guys want to be remembered? We play cover two. There's no solo checks, there's no anything. Get lined up quick. Same play you saw a week ago. Barbecue inside, corners go fire inside. Mike Backer, trust everybody, pursue the ball inside out. And put four quarters together. And put four quarters together. That's what I'm looking for, four quarters. Start the second half and start our best football we played all year. Just like this. Uh, Oreos, uh, walnuts, peanuts, and caramel. I call it the EJ Everson Ala Lamo. <laughs> um, I always gotta get little cookies on there. I Usually, usually I just take my cookies from down there and sprinkle them up and crush them in and put them in here. But I feel like they really helped me out a little bit. They crushed them up for me already. So, uh, rock on. Rock on. on. He ain't all right in the head. Some Oreo, strawberries, peanuts, cherries. I'm lactose intolerant, but hey. 
I gotta eat. <laughs> right, cool Price? Yeah, cool Price. Oh. Gotta eat. Uh, when we walk in that state tomorrow, I want us to go now. I asked you last week not to look at that number before that team of Arkansas, number nine. You didn't. I'm asking you again tomorrow, when we hit that state, don't worry about the number 23 in front of this name. You go play. Play your best. Let's put 70 all together. Believe in one another. Pull for one another hard. That doesn't mean dive or cut. I'm talking about tackle. Wrap your, wrap your arms, run through him, tackle the power and counter. I know you're prepared. I know you're ready for the sweep. I know you're ready for some little trick in the first 10 plays. I know that. Just play and believe. This is the funnest time there is, man. And there's nothing like a celebrated locker room. Let's celebrate that thing by playing hard and fast. Tackling and blocking, catching and having fun. Offense, you stay on the field. Like you did the first half for 23 and a half minutes, and our defense was fresh. Stay on the field. It's just like what Coach Lee was going over. No illegal procedures. Get out of the huddle. Get lined up. Get set. Come with a real energy. It's only prime time. 6.14 p.m. Be physical. Be physical. <clears throat> Turn it loose. It's time for us to get a fumble. It's time for us to knock the ball loose. The most important thing is to play the ball. We gotta get a team to we'll change this thing in one Just realize, man, this is the funnest time of the year. Let's go! Please hold transferring calls. To where, Kuala Lumpur? Can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. The video. <laughs> screaming. <sighs> Hello, you're having audio problems? A actually, my video stalls. Oh, and then yes, reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No, wait. Ah! Oh my gosh, sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Hey guys, I know I've been bad at this in the past, so I've come up with some mnemonic devices to help me learn your names. Hello, a penny saved is a penny earned. Oh, that's because FedEx Ground helps you save money. That's right, Penny. Do you know ours? Heavens to Betsy, wow. uh, Dwayne the Bathtub, Magic Wanda. Hey, yeah. <laughs> What's mine? Uh, you're a Dan fool. Oh. It's just a device, Dan. You can't take it personally. Oh, that's cool. We understand. You need a partner who helps you save. FedEx Ground. Game day. As the Alabama state flag flies over the hotel parking lot, it's not the only flag flying. The Ole Miss Rebel faithful have made the trip to cheer on the Rebels as they prepare to do battle with the Auburn Tigers. As the team makes their way to Tiger Stadium, they are once again reminded they are playing the defending national champions. Baby. Let's go. On the sideline, that's what I need on the sideline. <laughs> Offensively, tune in now with the substitution. <laughs> tune in. You did a great job with the music all week. The noise will not affect us. We're going to have good traffic flow. Don't all the way go in the huddle if you're unsure. Make sure you communicate. Look to the sideline. Defense. You know what's happening. You were awesome the first part of the week, all the way through with powers and counters. Expect a trick early. Expect a trick early. Special teams, talk them out of fakes all night long. Hey, 
Let's go win this one, y'all. Let's go get this one, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Cody Parkey has it teed up, and we're underway on the plains. And Tobias Singleton will take a knee for Ole Miss. The Rebels' first drive would see a 19-yard run by Jeff Scott. Then Randall Mackey would hit Nick Brazel for a nine-yard gain and a first down. The next play, Mackey would find Brazel on his screen for a big game but Auburn's El Toro Freeman would knock the ball out of his hands, causing a fumble. Auburn gets the ball and is quickly on the move. Watson Kirkin to the goal line. Did he get it? Yes, touchdown. Philip Watson Kirkin, a 13 yard touchdown reception, and Auburn capitalizes on the Ole Miss mistake. 14 yards, first down from the 34. The Rebels' next possession, Mackey finds Dante Moncrief for a first down. Then, Jeff Scott breaks for a big game. But the Rebel drive is stalled, and the Tigers came storming back up the field with a costly seven-play drive. Here's Mosley on second and seven, pumps. Now goes deep down the middle, has a receiver, caught, touchdown, Quindarius Carr. But the Rebels would fight back with an eight-play, 80-yard drive of their own. True freshman Nick Brazel scampers 14 yards on a reverse for a Rebel first down. Six plays later, Brandon Bolden rips off 38 of his own. But Auburn was like the first time since the BYU game that I was able to put on my cleats, not have to hold my breath because it hurt so much. I can plant hard as I want off of my, off my left leg, I mean can cut, and when I say cut, I mean cut and come off with a little bit of power. But that call was actually a, a inside power. Coach Nix always teaches us, it's always going to be one guy that we won't be able to block, and that'll be the one tackle you'll have to break. And it just so happened that the safety rolled all the way down almost to linebacker depth. And as soon as the ball snapped, he shot down into the gap. And I mean, he was basically in my way. A few weeks ago, I wouldn't have been able to make him miss the way I did because I actually ended up going on one foot going through the hole. I had to show him my right leg and move it out of the way. And I ended up being on my left leg for actually like two steps. I had to like hop, hop, and then throw my leg on the ground and get the rolling again. And I mean, it's like I got the running and I was like, wow. It's like, just run fast as you can. I had the ball in the wrong arm and everything, but I just didn't want to let go of the ball. So I had the ball tight as I could and I was just, my legs were moving as fast as I could move them. And then I felt two guys on my back and I was trying to get in that end zone, but they had me and they pulled me down at the one yard line. So it was a, it was a great play. Bolden again in the backfield. And it will be Bolden. To the goal line, touchdown Rebels. Brandon Bolden punches it in, and Ole Miss is on the board. Take the fight to him. You cannot attack if you're worried or thinking. You got that? Let's play fast. Let's play fast. Everybody stand up. Cut it loose. Read your keys. Have some fun. Now look around here. Auburn's next drive was only one play. Michael Dyer fumbled and team captain Kentrell Lockett emerged from the bottom of the pile with the ball. As the second quarter opened, Bryson Rose hits a 39-yard field goal, and the Auburn lead is down 
14, 10. Following an Auburn three and out, the Rebels would not have the ball long as Tasharvin Bell would pick off Mackey and return it 41 yards. But the Rebel defense would tighten up and hold Auburn to a 40-yard field goal. On the Rebels' next possession, Bolden slices up the middle for 20 yards and a first down. Then Mackey finds Furbia Allen for 12 more. Later in the drive, Mackey scrambles to the one-yard line, setting up the game-tying touchdown. First down and goal. It's Bolden. Ah, touchdown. Brandon Bolden walks it in for the Rebels. And this stadium is quiet. They are concerned about their defense, especially on the ground. It has been a complete domination by Ole Miss, running the ball at will. With just under three minutes to play in the half, Lockett would recover his second fumble of the day. So when I saw the, uh, the actions of the quarterback, I was like, huh, he's faking it this way, so what's coming this way? When I saw actually the pitch, I popped and I got out there fast. I really think 23, 23 was trying to play me. He was too worried about me more than he was actually worried about the ball. And I think that had, that had, more, had more to do with me actually doing all the trash talking and messing with him no matter if he had the ball or he didn't have the ball leading up to that. And when I got the fumble, Coach Nutt always says something about, man, we need to get that head, we need to get that head shake back. That head shake back, it, it was just some weird celebration I just always did. And when I got that fumble and I was shaking my head, and I just kept saying, I told y'all. I just kept saying, I told you. Because it was more of a battle with myself. I'm like, I'm here. I'm back here and I'm ready to play football. And I had to express that with everybody that was around me. I want everybody to hear that I can still play football and I still want to play football and I still could be affected as doing it. But the Rebels were unable to capitalize on it. And the score was tied at 17 going into the half. Hey. Everybody knows it don't matter. We were here last week. It's what happens the next 30 minutes, right? That's how we roll. That's how we play, man. No, great effort, great stream. Keep playing. And, and, and I love the way you dug out of the hole. Yeah. And now the game has come back to you. You understand that? You're dominating the game. You're attacking. You're playing really fast. I love the intensity of the eyes now. But that first 30 minutes is gone. I need my kickoff team at an all-time high. Let's go, man. Give me a good kick. Go cover. Defense, you know what to do. Offense, we're going to pound it, pound it. Receivers, keep doing your deal. I got a little time for a go, but be ready. We're gonna last we show. As the third quarter opened, the Rebel defense was swarming to the ball, forcing the Tigers to a three and out. But as the case has been all season, the third quarter did not belong to the Rebels as Auburn scored 14 unanswered points going into the fourth quarter. Trailing by 24 with just under a minute and a half left in the game, the Rebels would take all the time left. Mackey would hit targets Jamal Mosley, Collins Moore, Jeff Scott, and Jamez Logan to set up the Rebels' last score of the night. Final play of the game. Fans that are left are very loud. Mackey caught. Nick Brassel with the touchdown. Mackey to Brassel. Final score. Auburn, 41. Ole Miss, 23. Everybody wants more financial control, but it's not always easy. At Regions, we have the tools and expertise to really help you find your balance. Like the freedom to access and monitor your accounts anytime, anywhere with online and mobile banking. Real guidance and solutions from a Regions personal savings and debt review. Plus, at Regions, you'll get the award-winning service people are talking about. It's financial control. Well, like you haven't had before. Wow, unbelievable. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break.
You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs savored. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. Basically, take it one game at a time. I mean, this week we have Kentucky, then Louisiana Tech, then LSU, then State. I mean, it's one game at a time, and that's how we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to take baby steps, especially we're at the point where our offense has finally found its identity. Sad to say that it took this long into the season to say that. But we have our identity. Now we need to go into the Kentucky game with a certain game plan. We need to stick to that game plan the entire time and then just build from there. And when I say build, I mean build to where we can have a very good November. And I think that's what we're going to have to do in order to try to get these last four. I am. I'm excited about these last four games. Um, just because it's the last four game as a collegiate athlete, again, you know, playing the caliber team such as LSU, you know, and, and matching up with them well, knowing everyone on the team, and just that trying to end the season on a good note. You know, trying to do some good things possibly to help to go to the next level and just to 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 help the rebel nation out, help the rebel nation out, you know, let them know that it isn't over, you know. It might be bad right now, but it ain't gonna be bad for forever. Just keep your head up and we will keep on pushing. <laughs>